couch Dogs need the lesson Hey there, Lick and Riffers, how are you doing? Welcome back to yet another awesome finger style arrangement lesson right here on Lick and Riff, in which we'll learn how far I'll go from the movie Moana. You asked for it, you got it. Another addition to the Disney collection here on Lick and Riff. You can check the playlist later. But first, I'm gonna play it for you so you can see and hear how it goes. Then we're gonna break it down, lick by lick, chord by chord, note by note, with tabs right here on the screen. So it um, goes like this, enjoy. Okay, so put on an E chord, okay? E major, everyone's favorite chord. No, I'm just kidding, everyone's favorite chord is G, right? Okay, so E, okay? E major, everyone's second favorite chord, okay? Pretty respectable anyway. Um, and you wanna play the bass, the sixth string, along with strings one, two, one, two, one, two. You can harmonize with the third string, okay? You can harmonize the second string with the third create that finger style sound. Um, the last note, however, should be right, D flat. Should be um, two on the second string, right? So, okay? But you don't want uh, an E6 chord. You want to bar the second fret when you play two on the second string, okay? For a smooth transition. Okay? Bar the second fret, play two on the second fret, right? Okay? And this is supposed to be now F sharp minor, but you don't have to put on the chord because again, this is the beauty of finger style. You can just keep playing. Okay? You can just keep playing strings one, two, one, two, one, okay? which you need to play. And you just play the two on the sixth string for the F sharp bass at the beginning. So, and then, Five slide to seven on the second string with your little finger, with your pinky. Okay? And then you have C sharp minor. So it's a bar on four, A minor shape, and basically you just play the chord with the E string twice. That's it, your uh, bass note is the fifth string now on four. Okay, so that's your beginning. Okay, E, F sharp minor, and C sharp minor. Then you have two different endings. So, then you have okay, this. So it's still C sharp minor, and you play the E string four more times on four, and then seven, five, four on the second string. Now you can solo it. You don't have to play it inside a chord anymore. You can play it as a solo if you like to pull it off or slide. Okay. Okay. Okay, and then you have an A chord. So it's six on the third string with the A bass. You can play five, six, seven on strings two, three, and four. Okay, if you wanna play the chord later. You can just finish there, let it ring, and then continue into the next line. Okay, those are your choices. Okay, just choose the one that you think sounds best. also repeat the note. Okay, so. Okay, create groove. Um, and then you have the E again. Okay, F sharp minor. C sharp minor, and then you have 
Okay, 4-4-4 four, four, four on the E string, 5-5 five, five on the B string, into A again. So, okay, you can play the whole A chord, 5-6-7-0 on strings 2-5. Two, two, okay? It's the same notes as the bottom of the A chord. Okay? So, that's your, uh, that's your verse, basically, with two different endings. Then you have the pre-chorus where things start to get interesting. So okay. Pre prepare your fingers for uh, C sharp minor again. Bar on four A minor shape and you hammer on four to six on the third string with your little finger again. And then you play the chord. I think my B string a little bit or the no, they're in tune. Why I thought it. Okay, I thought it's out of tune for some reason. Okay, then you play the chord and it's five five on the uh, second string. So you play four hammer on to six and then six again with the bass. Okay, so you can play strings five four and three, and then five five on the second string you can play it with the chord. Okay, you do it twice. Then you do this. It's four slide to six with your first finger on the third string, then the six again with seven on the sixth string, and then seven seven on the second string. And then this little spidery chord there. Okay, you can do you can do it twice, but why not look good while you play? Okay, people will ask you what it is. What is it? What is that chord? So, basically, it's kind of a sixth chord there, but, um, so, um, I lost my train of thought. All right, the pinky on nine on the fourth string. Okay, good thing I have the chord in front of me. Um, so, nine on the fourth string, uh, and then you have the four again on the third with the bass on seven, and then seven on the second, okay? So... Um, okay, you don't have to keep the nine on, you can just do, okay, uh, and then pick strings two and three. So you can do, you can do it twice if you want, if it sounds good to you. The only downside is that you have to let go of the bass note and then suddenly the chord kind of cuts off and it's unnatural but it's an effect if you want to mute it if you want to mute the notes afterwards so okay it's kind of funky if, you, if that's what you're going for um, so if you want a more legato sound a fuller sound Leave the chord on, add the pinky on nine on the fourth string, look good while you're doing it, because this is a really cool chord. And then you have uh, this, an E chord, but it's a D shape, D chord up two frets, to four, so it's four, five, four with the sixth string, and you're playing basically strings two, one, one, three, two, one, one, or three, two, one, one, three, two, one, one, doesn't really matter. You can slide or and again up to you what do you want to what do you want to play the, the the expression you want to get and then you have this uh, sorry um, okay. it's uh, seven slide to nine on the second string and then you have Okay, it's uh, four, five, five on strings one, two, and three with A. This is, it's A minor augmented or A minor major seven. So this is actually a brilliant, a stroke of brilliance, that note there. Um, and on the second time you play it, if you choose to play the full song, the second time she's asking, what is wrong with me? So. 
Okay, so it's slide to eight on the E string with A and uh, nine eight on the second string. If you want to play it, you can play this again. Hey, again, it sounds sounds a little bit out of tune. I don't. Maybe it's just me. What is wrong with me? I keep hearing it out of tune. So um. This is what you were waiting for instead of my babbling. So, um, bar on four for, again, the D shape, okay? Four, five, four. Um, because you need the hammer on from five to seven on the second string. Sorry, uh, you can play like this as a solo, but I prefer the chord. So I have the, f the four on the third string to harmonize. Okay, so get used to it, it's a good practice. Right, so four, uh, five hammer on to seven on the second string, and then four, uh, four on the E string. Okay, the chord is four three uh, four five four with the sixth string. Okay, I hammer on, then I play the E string on four with the sixth string, and then you have five on the B string again. Okay, or the open E string, which is the same note, giving you time to move to the B chord, bar on seven E. E major shape, okay, and it's okay, it's the bass with strings one and two, okay, harmonized with the third string if you like. So, okay, so you can just play the E string. Um, but then again, a sound problem because you have which is two notes on the same string. That's why I prefer five on the second string. You have enough time to move anyway, so I prefer this. Okay, that way you also get a kind of a, um, a dynamic effect. You hear this, okay, which is cool. It's a lot cooler than okay, or which is a little bit amateurish. So, okay, so. Again, explain my reasoning. You choose to play however you like to play. Everything is fine. And then you have 7 9 on the E string, still on the bar. Mm. You can do it with your pinky. And then right? C sharp minor again, just the E string. And then 7 on the E string, uh, on the B string, sorry. Uh, so it's 4 on E, 7 on B. Yeah, you can just play the note. Play the bass again if you like. Then seven slide to nine on the E string, and then this. Okay, so it's four two two and A. Okay, this is A major seven, and then you keep the bar on two and move your pinky to uh, four on the third string, and then you get this. This is really cool chord. This is A, add 9, add 13. Okay, this is a really cool chord. So, right? I could do this, but then this is too strong of a chord. Okay, this is A6, and this is not the intent. So I masked this with the ninth. Okay, this, this note kind of draws the attention from the fact that it's not entirely the right harmony because you need to play the chord and the melody together, which creates the wrong chord. So, right? Then you have this again. Ah, uh, sorry. Okay, to C sharp minor. And then you have this. Seven slide to nine again, but on the second string this time. Then you have... It's A minor, 5-5-5, five, 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 and the A string. You play the chord, then second string, twice, third string twice, slide down to four, four, four on the third, and then the E string twice into an E major chord. Okay, so. Right? A really, really cool line. 
And you can just finish here or play the whole thing all, all over again. Just remember to add the Okay, the second line at the end of the pre-chorus there. So before you go, practice this and download the tab from the website. The link is below in the description, by the way, it's for free. Subscribe to the channel, that's free as well. All the lessons here are free and available for you to learn. There's a ton of lessons, so check the playlist. So we have, we, me and you I mean, I or me and the dog. We have um, here uh, over, um, I think over 400 lessons by now. So uh, thank you for watching. Bye for now, enjoy.